Welcome back. Joining us this morning, well, we'll start with it is Mental Health Awareness Month. So we've been trying to highlight uh, different aspects of mental health and the resources available. Uh, and to do exactly that, we have Grace Bailey. She is with Oceans Behavioral Hospital. So Grace, welcome on this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. So let's first, I guess, we'll start with this. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Oceans Behavioral Hospital. That is, it's kind of separate to just maybe like counseling. You're going to see a therapist, right? What do you guys do? Right, so we're an inpatient facility where I'm at in right. Broussard, um, and there's outpatient services as well. So it's inpatient, outpatient across Texas, Louisiana, and now going into Mississippi. Oh, wow. Well, that's great. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's one resource, but there's a lot that goes into it becoming an inpatient patient. But let's talk yeah. about some of the resources maybe if you are thinking hey i'd like to get some help but i don't know where to start yeah so a good place to start um there's a hotline 988 yes so whenever there's a crisis if you reach that crisis level but if you're not at a crisis level i mean starting with where to find a therapist research yeah yeah in yeah. the area um and the outpatient services is also a good place to start calling up oceans maybe you're new to yeah to mental health services and therapy in general so that's a group therapy setting and psychiatry services um and that's not that highest level of care of inpatient. right patient so depending on who you are what resources you have there's lots of different avenues but 988 is a good a good number to call in a crisis and outpatient yeah. services is a good place to start the group services is a, I didn't even think of that. That is a, mm -hmm. a wonderful resource and something that I feel like a lot of people may overlook. Mm -hmm. um, so do you recommend just researching what's in your area specific to you and what you're looking for? Yeah, yeah. I do. I mean, if you're a student, there's UL. There's the PCARD Center and the Wellness Center. Um, if you are a working individual and you're able to afford individual counseling, yeah. um, that will give you a lot more access. Um, and to therapists and if they're if you um, are a little bit strained in resources mm -hmm. there's the family tree there's um, tree of life counseling um, there's sliding scale there's Tyler mental health so the resources I think the hardest piece is how disconnected a lot of things are right and just trying to piece that all together well yeah. this is definitely helpful and uh, for folks at home we're gonna put this on our website so you can refer back but thank you so much for coming on we appreciate you yeah, have a great rest of your day, but for now we're going to go to break, but we'll have more good day when we return.